Good afternoon, food lovers. <laughs> Good afternoon, food lovers, and welcome to Nary's Kitchen. Today, we will be focusing on super simple, clean eating meal prep. I know sometimes life can get pretty hectic, and the last thing we need to do is complicate the food we put in our body. So the meal, the sample meal plan that I will be making consists of protein-boosted yogurt, mixed greens with avocado and cucumbers, chicken celery sticks, and yogurt and banana. I will also be giving you some tips along the way to help you succeed with your fitness and health goals. And FitFam members, if you want a complete five-day meal plan, which includes today's meal prep, make sure to join tomorrow's hard start. Let's get started. Okay, so for the for breakfast, the first thing that I normally eat is yogurt. And the reason why I like to eat yogurt is because there's literally no prep involved whatsoever. So I always buy um, this brand of Greek yogurt. I don't know why, I just, I like this brand. And um, I always make sure to have plain Greek yogurt. And the reason why I say plain is because there's no added sugars involved, right? I know the flavored ones, like vanilla or the blueberry ones, they have extra sugar. So just make sure that you choose the plain one. All right. So um, what I normally have is about um, eight ounces of Greek yogurt. I'm just going to get my scale. Oh, hi, Jane. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, so you want to make sure that you weigh your food always and make sure that you input it into your MyFitnessPal so you know exactly what you put in your body. And I can't stress enough that you need to make sure that you track your food. It helps you stay accountable and it helps you reach your goals. And for me, when I was um, keeping track of all of my foods, that's when I saw the most results. So I'm going to put 8 ounces of Greek yogurt. Let's weigh it in. Eight ounces is about 225, 26 grams, 27 grams. Let's see. Okay, so that's about eight ounces. And then uh, one scoop of vanilla yogurt. And I'm using vanilla only because it has a neutral taste and it tastes really well with Greek yogurt. But you can also add additional flavorings like cinnamon if you want to just spice it up, change it up a little bit. Okay, so let's fix that up. Try not to make a mess. Jerome, you're zooming in too close. <laughs> <laughs> this is making a mess. So I will also be giving you some tips along the way. When I first wake up in the morning, okay, Jerome, when you wake up in the morning, what do you do? Well, I... Um, What's your routine? Washing, I go to the washroom, drink water, and I'm not, or pee, and then drink water after that. Good, good. Okay, yeah. that's exact. Okay, so if you guys didn't hear that, Jerome said he wakes up, uses the washroom, and drinks water. That's actually the right answer. You want to put water in your body first, not coffee, not anything else, not like croissants, or not pastries, not muffins. Muffins is just a fancy cake in the morning. You want to feed your body with nutritious foods, right? And and actually, water is like life, so you want to put that in your body first thing in the morning. Helps you stay fuller longer, and it's a great start, right? Your body craves what you feed it, so I know I'm always thirsty, and I drink a lot of water, but the first thing I do is drink water. Okay, this is breakfast. Look how simple that was. Like I said, you want to make it fancy, you can add some cinnamon. Cinnamon is actually a natural fat burner, so I like to add cinnamon in mine. I'm just going to wash my hands. And look how easy that was. You can always prepare your yogurt a day in advance, and uh, it actually helps you, right? I know it's easy to say, I can just prepare it in the morning, but you know what? Did you know that um, adults actually make, what is it? 35,000 decisions every day. Did you know that, Jerome? No, I didn't. 35,000. By the time wow. you wake up, right? You've probably made like 10,000 decisions already. So let's save the guessing game and just plan, plan, plan. Okay, so next thing I do uh, is lunch. What yes. do you have for lunch, Jerome? Um, oh, I haven't had any lunch yet, so. Oh, you haven't had lunch, haven't of course. Yeah, it's lunchtime. <laughs> yeah, it is lunchtime. You always come to my house. Whoops. Yeah, yeah. You always come during lunchtime. Yeah, so, okay, so you know when you watch The Simpsons, it's a really old episode where Homer says, you don't make friends with salad? Mm -hmm. I make friends with salad. <laughs> you have to make friends with salad. It's really important. And you know what? I say as long as you have one green thing a day. No, not green, one dark green thing a day. 
it sets the day off right. So you want to have about eight ounces of greens. I just have this spring mix here. It could be any salad mix you like. Just buy what you like. Oh my gosh. So I bought this one because I like this mix. Do you want to have about eight, eight ounces? Or you know what? Greens doesn't even matter. As long as you have enough to fill you up. There's like next to no calories in this. So true story, my friend Grant, right? He was trying to diet and he was trying to eat salads. And guess what his salad consisted of? The There's no diet salad. <laughs> it was just, it wasn't even salad. It was just ripped up pieces of iceberg lettuce with dressing. Wow. It was like the worst salad ever. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Me. You make your food look pretty, then it'll taste better, right? That's right. Okay. So we're going to make our salad look pretty. We have our greens here. Let's add some. I have some cucumber here. I'm just going to chop this up. And you know what? Just make sure you fill your fridge with um, chopped up veggies. It's always good to have chopped up veggies on hand. And as Jen Mantra had mentioned, put it in a container when it's right in front of you in the fridge. When you open the door, you'll see your veggies instead of reaching for something else, right? So that's a good tip there. Have your veggies prepped, cut up, put it in a nice container, make things look beautiful, right? When it looks better, you're more likely to reach for it. Okay, so we have our cucumbers here. I just used half of an English cucumber. I'm going to add some tomato. And you know, you can track this in my fitness pal and there's like really no calories in here. So I'm just using, um, how much tomato do I want? Okay. Honestly, you know what? I actually eat half a tomato for right, breakfast yeah. too. I do because I love tomatoes. Love it. You know, so, in the morning, I would uh, I would cook egg and tomato. Egg and tomato. Yeah, I put some fish sauce on the tomato. Oh, you do? You yeah. know, I do. Sometimes I'll eat egg, tomato, and soy sauce and okay. cucumbers. That's the Asian in yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I grew right. up with eggs and soy sauce yeah. and tomato. Yeah. There's nothing so, wrong with eating eggs in the morning. No. You know, I love eggs. Yeah. But you know what? You get used to it, right? Yeah. And um, you just have to have a different mindset on things, right? Mm -hmm. Just know that you're putting good stuff in your body. And then you crave it. You crave it after. Okay, so we'll add our tomatoes. Look how nice that looks already, right? You want to add color. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and then good. green onions. I'm mean, sorry, red onions. Red onions. Make yeah. sure it's red. Red just tastes better raw. There. Look how pretty that is. Yeah. There you go. Extra avocado. Wow. Okay, so the avocados. You really have to be careful. Yeah. Right? There's actually some devices on how to cut an avocado. So, there, I sliced it. You can always do this to the seed, but that's also really dangerous. So, you can also just cut it like this. Make sure you have your knife pointed down like that. And then you can remove the seed like that. Right? Perfect. See? That was easier than uh, the knife being. You <laughs> yeah. Know, and then, you know, you just yeah. just peel the skin like that. Like, there is, it's a really easy. So that's just a tip for you. And then we're going to chop up our avocado. I think half of an avocado, half of a large avocado is about 160 calories. So you know what? We're going to add half of an avocado. That's where most of your calories are coming from is the avocado. Then we'll save this for tomorrow. If you want to add some extra protein in here, you definitely can. You can add some chopped up chicken. I always have a rotisserie chicken in the fridge, always. If you look at my fridge, chicken. Yeah. I always have chicken. I go to the store, what do I buy? To your rotisserie chickens, because I know I'm gonna eat it, right? And then you can use your favorite dressing on here. You can use Italian dressing, you can use oil and vinegar. Um, what I like to use is, I always have this in my fridge also. Have you tried this dressing, Daryl? It is the no sugar added honey mustard dressing. Oh, no, it tastes similar to the, um, you know, the kale salad dressing. Yeah. It tastes similar to that. Wow. So this is what I, I normally use for salad dressing. If you don't have that, you can also use oil and vinegar. So Jerome, do you want to use oil and vinegar? Sure. Uh, or do you want to use that fancy we'll, we'll one? Do that. We'll, we'll do both. Do both? Yeah, we'll do the both. 
Oh, one. Oh, no, okay, one. Okay, we'll just use okay. that one. Okay. Like, <laughs> Not both. I don't have time for both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's two tablespoons um, of 20 calories. So you want two tablespoons? Yes, it's two tablespoons. Okay, so one. No, I think you need more than that. It's only 20 calories. Uh, yeah. you, but you see how big this ball is? It is yeah. big. It is big. <laughs> But it's like 20 calories only. <laughs> you know, you, you're a man, and yeah. you probably burn yeah, lots of calories. Of that, yeah, there. Sure. there. Knock yourself out, right? Yeah. So this is lunch. Look how easy that was. You can always prepare that the day before, but if you're concerned about um, having your food soggy, you can always package it separately or layer it. Layer it in a container and put all of your wet ingredients on the bottom, like your tomato on the bottom. You can put your, um, your onion after, your cucumbers after that, and have the lettuce on top so it's not soggy. So look how easy that was. Thank you. I know, and lunch. Jerome, what do you typically have for lunch? Uh, whatever we cooked from the night before. See, <laughs> he says whatever we cooked the night before. Okay, that's good. That's I like good. that, yeah. how you said you're gonna eat whatever you had the night before, but Jerome, it's important to plan Absolutely. I always know what I'm going to yeah. eat the day before because, like I said, I need to make less decisions each day so I don't get stressed <laughs> out, right? You don't want to overwhelm yourself. That's right. Okay, so I have some lettuce, or sorry, um, celery. And you don't have to eat this part. I actually do because mm -hmm. I just like it, right? I just yeah. feel like it's more fragrant. So our celery sticks, what we have, I'm just going to grab a bowl here. Okay. I just have some shredded chicken that I've already shredded. It's actually the rotisserie chicken that I bought. I just broke it apart. And then you want to add, um, let's add some dill. Because I like dill. Do you like dill? Yes. I like oh, dill. I love dill. Okay, let's add dill. I like the honey mustard dill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? Actually, this mm. dill tastes really good with that salad. There you go. Delicious. We're actually trying to grow some dill, so it's... It just brightens your day, right? Yeah. But if you don't have dill, you can always add um, some dried dill, some lemon, that'll brighten it up. So essentially we're making a chicken salad. It's pretty much what it is, chicken mm -hmm. salad. But it's good to have some garden fresh veggies or herbs like the dill. Okay, so let's add more. Now, I don't know, guys, I wanna hear. Do you use the stems of the dill? Yes or no? Because I have no idea. I actually do use it, but uh, some people I don't. don't. I don't. You don't use it? I don't use it. I just use it. Okay, well, you have some today because I. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's gonna. Uh, yeah, we'll Because you have no choice. <laughs> I have no choice. You already put it in there. Right? I already put it in there. But you know what I do, though, guys? So before I eat each meal, I always drink a bottle of water. Always. Because it just fills your body up, right? Because sometimes you're not actually hungry, you're just thirsty. You want to add um, some garlic powder. I'm just going to eyeball this, just a sprinkle. Okay. And then you want to add just a tablespoon of light mayo. Right? Nothing too crazy. Mayo. Okay. And then we're going to add a little bit of yogurt. Greek yogurt, get some more protein in here. You want to add about, I, I say maybe a tablespoon or so, just as needed. And then some lemon juice, get some more of that acid. And you want to make sure that you roll your lemon to get as much juice as possible. Did you know that, Jerome? Uh, yeah. You did? Yeah, I did. Good. We've been doing the show for how many years We've now? been doing Mary's oh. Kitchen. Um, <laughs> For four years? For four years. Yeah. Every, Sunday, every Sunday. Every week. For four. Over four oh, years. Over four, over years, four so years. years. Doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I actually want to hear from you guys. What do you what what's your favorite dish that I've made so far? Or what did you guys like to see? Or what do you want to see me bring back? Let me know in the comments below. But I really enjoy the meal prep. Yes, meal prepping. I do. Okay. I'm just gonna 
wipe my hands. Okay, you want to mix this up? Oh, salt and pepper. You need salt and pepper. Jerome doesn't actually like it when I add salt. He's always, he always says to me, no, too much salt. In the background, you guys can't see it. But I'm like, Jerome, we're going to add salt. <laughs> yeah, you need salt for taste. It actually brings out the flavor, right? And salt isn't... Too much, too much salt is not the best for you, but some salt is okay. So I... I like salt. Okay, you want to mix it just like that. That is your chicken salad. How does that look? Looking good. And I used a whole chicken breast here. Okay, I'm just going to taste it first yes. before I give it to you, Jerome. I have to taste it. It's my lunch, everybody. Let's go. Oh, yeah, this is Jerome's lunch. He just did strong, so he's really hungry. Oh, and he took apart my bed frame because we're getting a new bed frame tomorrow. So thank you, Jerome. Okay. Mmm. You'll like it. You really will. I just think it needs a little bit of garlic. Just, it's good to have punch. And then I think you need just a little bit more pepper. Should be good after that. Okay, so what we do after this, whose phone is that? Mine. Oh, no, it's the laptop. Oh, it's a laptop. Okay. So what you want to do is take your celery. So I'm using three large celery stalks here. And all you do is just scoop it Ooh, on here. Scoop that. it like a boat. Look at that. You know, you know how when you're... Okay, when I was a child mm. and when I was in daycare and school and stuff, they would give us celery, but they would put it like cheese whiz on it. No, we're not going to add cheese whiz. We're going to add hearty chicken salad, right? Look at that, guys. Look at that. Let me put it on the plate so it looks more presentable. And when you have food that looks fun, you're more likely to eat it, right? Eyes. Oh, of course. You you do eat with your eyes. If it looks ugly, you're not going to eat it, right? Mm -hmm. And you know what? This is easy to transport to the office, too. You don't have to assemble it like this. Just have your chicken in a bowl, and then you can have your celery and just dip it like that. Mm -hmm. If you don't have celery on hand, you can also use romaine lettuce. That works really well. And this whole meal, guess how much this is, roughly? How many calories? Just guess. 85. 85? No. Okay, I actually wrote it down. Three. Wait, 85 calories? <laughs> I was going to say 200, but yeah. I'm, 85 calories. <laughs> no. What is it? It's about 350. 350, wow. Yeah, 350. But of course, right, it really depends on the ingredients that you're putting right, in. Yes. You know, if you use more mayo. Uh, no, salt doesn't really add any calories, but how much mayo or how much Greek yogurt you put in. Like I opted for a half and half because I didn't want to put too much mayo because then it's it's overboard, right? Yeah. Overboard. But look how easy this was. Yes. It took me like no time to prepare at all. Once again, tracking on my fitness pal. Make sure to get a food scale. It will be your friend and it keeps you accountable. That's so much food already. Yes, that's nice. Mmm. Nothing goes to waste here, so let's add some here. Okay, so that's three meals already. We got the yogurt right here. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put this over here. Yes. Now, after dinner, if you're hungry, what do you do? After dinner? Yeah. Dessert. Dessert? What do you have for dessert, Jerome? Oh, we have some ice cream like, or bubble tea. Okay. <laughs> On treat days, yes. Yes. After. After you've worked out too, right? Yeah, after I worked out too, yes. But you know what? Like working, as RJ was saying, we work out because to see what our body can do. And right. it's fun working out. You feel so much better after a workout. But don't work out if you ate ice cream. Like, yeah, I mean, right. don't punish yourself is what I'm trying to say. You don't want to build that unhealthy relationship. It actually took me a long time 
to kind of find that balance because I used to be like that. I used to run on the treadmill or outside for like, I don't know, two, three hours and punish myself. I realized that was not healthy for me, right? So if you eat ice cream, that's okay. Just track it in your phone on MyFitnessPal so you at least know what you've eaten that day if you can make adjustments for later on, right? Yes. Okay, so for um, after dinner, what I normally like to have is yogurt. <laughs> Yogurt, because why? It's it's so easy. It's like you can just buy it from the store and it's right here and it's fast. So we're going to get another bowl. And then we're also going to have, we're going to weigh it again. We're going to have eight ounces again or 227 grams. So let's wait to be exact. And if you go to Costco, you can buy a package of this yogurt in threes, I believe, which is really cheap. Do you like yogurt, Jerome? Yes, I do. I know some people don't like the taste of yogurt because it tastes sour. Mm -hmm. You'll get used to it or just find, um, you can always get yogurt that has a higher fat content. This is 0%, but if you can't stomach it, try getting 2%. Maybe the more fat will taste slightly sweeter. You can, there's also 5% too. You can try that to see if you like the taste or not. And then, um, I like to add a little bit of sweetener to mine. Let's see if I can find it. Okay. So, yeah, I like to add sweetener to my yogurt. So this is actually organic stevia. Always have this on hand. You just want to sprinkle it. Just want to sprinkle it like this and it just tastes so much better with the sweetener you know actually let's add a little bit more I like it sweet and then you can add a chopped banana in here to make it more hearty or you can always add um, some chopped fruit frozen fruit works well I actually went to um, Superstore, and you know if you spend like $300, you get the free item of the week. Mm -hmm. Guess what I got? Frozen fruits. Yes, yeah, I got yeah, yeah. I got seven bags of frozen seven. fruit. Seven. Seven. Wow. Seven bags, so it's all in my freezer, wow. so I have enough fruit for smoothies and my yogurt. Very so Jerome, do you want yogurt with bananas or frozen fruit? Let's get the frozen fruits. Let's go. <laughs> frozen fruit. Here, I'll show you what I got from Superstore. And you know what? Yes, I do shop like a mother because I am a mother. Look at those frozen fruits. We got some pineapple. We got some mango. Yes. Blackberry. Yes, all of this from Watermelon. Superstore. Whoa, yeah. look at that. Cranberries. But I like this one here. Because it already has a mix, right? Mm -hmm. So, Jerome, which one do you like? Oh, let's go for the mix. Mix? Yeah. Okay, mix it is. Mix it is. So, Soup Store, if you're watching. Uh, sponsor. <laughs> yeah, I, I do shop like a mother. <laughs> President's Choice. Oh my if gosh. You're looking at your products. Yes. <laughs> You know, I really do spend $300 each week. It's insane. So we need to, let's see. It says one and a quarter cups is 80 calories. So you're going to get one and eight, one and a quarter cups, which is about 140 grams. So let's weigh it here. So that's what we do is I'm weigh. I'm going to eat this all in one sitting. I'm just joking. You know what? You can always put this in the fridge. Absolutely and eat it after. But look yeah. at how good this looks. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Okay, so there we go. Well, that's me, nice and frozen. <laughs> yeah, or you know what, you can always just blend it. Instead of ice cream, guys, this is good. Yes, frozen this is fruits. better for you than ice cream. Look how pretty that is. And there you guys have it. This is a normal meal plan of what I have. If you guys enjoyed it, please let me know. Um, yeah, well, thanks for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.